over 50 years of history, coupled with the originality of its design, makes the Black Bay 58 not just an interesting watch, rather one of very few modern watches that offer the vintage vibe, size, looks and aesthetics. 1958 was the time when there was basically no concept of diving watches being considered as jewelry or a product that you will wear to only enjoy the pleasure of ownership. It's interesting that what was produced 50 years ago as something that was all about the function has now been written in the flesh, but this time it not just offers the same function of diving and time telling, but also offers the experience. And while the Black Bay 58 in the flesh of steel itself was a luxury watch with the looks and experience that would already please your eyes, Tudor decided to step up the game and offer the watch in a precious metal and not just one, rather two. And this year, we have seen Black Bay 58 in gold and also in silver. But what does it really mean when you change the metal from steel to silver? And are there any differences between these watches beyond just the change of metal? Starting off with the main difference, which is the case material. The one on left is steel reference that is offered with the bracelet and the right one is in silver that only comes in either NATO or a leather strap. Talking about the shade of the metal, you can see in this clip that the silver black bay is much brighter, lighter, wider and lustrous in its looks as compared to steel model that has slightly darker or should I say duller shade of metal. Steel itself is not as such a dull metal, rather it has its own brilliance, shine and brightness to it. But if you put it side by side with silver, which is a precious metal, it will naturally look darker in its shade, which isn't as such a good or a bad thing. It's just different and has a character of its own. Now when you say that changing the metal from steel to silver changes the looks, how the change will affect the day-to-day -day use and wearability on the wrist is something that requires further exploring. While silver cased 58 is much brighter and brilliant in its looks, it naturally comes with its own metal properties. While Black Bay 58 9 to 5 has 92.5% of pure silver and there are other alloys added to it, which Tudor haven't specified. Speaking of general characteristics of silver, it is a softer metal with more ductile properties than the steel. This characteristic of softness and ductility will make you think that the silver black bay may be lighter in weight than the steel one. But interestingly, the silver 58 is about 30% heavier than the steel 58. On my scale, the head only of steel 58 weighed at 65 grams as opposed to head only of silver 58 which weighed at 90 grams. To put it into another perspective, the black bay 58 in steel weighs about two-third of the weight of Black Bay 58 9 to 5. Including the weight of the bracelet to the steel model, the total weight of the watch with bracelet size to 6.5 inches wrist is 131 grams as opposed to 90 grams for watch head only for 9 to 5. And since 58 9 to 5 is not offered on the bracelet, it is easy to conclude that it will be a top heavy watch as compared to 58 in steel that is more balanced and has better weight distribution from the case to the bracelet. If you're thinking whether can the steel bracelet be installed on silver cased 9 to 5, yes, these cases on both of these watches are exactly the same and you can install the steel bracelet on the silver 58 without any problems. But you probably wouldn't want to do it due to differences in the shade and looks of steel versus silver unless you don't mind wearing a brighter and wider case of silver with darker shade of bracelet in steel. The case treatment for both of these watches is also different. The silver case 9 to 5 comes with all brushed case and we have case sides, the lugs and also the bevels on the case that are fully brushed. This is interesting character because where the silver case 9 to 5 is offered in precious metal to provide it a more luxury and jewelry look, 
it doesn't have any shiny or blingy surfaces since the case is fully brushed. When you compare it with steel case 58, the case sides are fully polished and this polishing continues onto the bevels on the case locks which add further shiny and reflecting surfaces to the watch. And where the steel reference 58 is a tool watch with more versatile characters, it comes with slightly more blingy characters due to polished surfaces on the case. The dial colors are naturally different between the two two and where the steel model comes with black dial and bezel to complement the darker tones of the watch. The silver case 925 comes with top dial. It being lighter shade of color does work very well with the light and whiter shade of silver case and overall add to the balance in the looks. The dial layout, texture being matte and the text are exactly identical between the two. Although the black dial comes with gold tone, texture, hour markers and dial hands as opposed to top dial which has silver tones and white text in the dial. Turning the watches upside down, we have Black Bay 58 in steel that comes with steel case back as opposed to 58 9 to 5 which comes with sapphire case back. In this NATO configuration of silver model, the case back is however covered and you can't really see the movement unless you remove the spring bars which is just a strange move by Tudor. The silver 58 comes with movement caliber MT5400 versus the MT5402 offered in steel models. Both movements are COSC certified, are self-winding, automatic caliber and offer 70 hours of power reserve. But since the 9 to 5 has open case back, it is naturally a more fun movement to look at. Although the movement finish and decoration is unfortunately very basic. The open case back on the silver 58 9 to 5 also resulted in slightly thicker case compared to steel models and where the steel model comes with case thickness of 11.9 mm. On the 58 9 to 5, we have a case thickness of 12.4 mm. The difference is only small and less than half mm and you don't really feel the difference on the wrist as much as you notice the weight, but it is there. On the wrist, the steel model wears balanced and weight distribution is more seamless due to firstly being a relatively lighter case and then secondly due to the weight of the bracelet that naturally balances out the weight of the case. But comparing this with 58 9 to 5, the case is noticeably heavier and then it comes in the strap so the watch is relatively top heavy although it is not such a heavy watch that you would feel it to be uncomfortable. Since the case shape and profile is the same, both watches come with the same lug to lug of 47.6 mm which is relatively taller lug to lug for a 39 mm case watch. That being said, since the 58 9 to 5 comes with exhibition case back, it is slightly heavier of the two, but I personally wouldn't consider the weight difference as a deal breaker for me. What may be a bit more of a consideration for you is the dial contrast compared to the case and your skin tone. And in terms of the contrast from the dial and bezel, naturally the black or the blue models in steel offer better dial contrast whereas the top dial looks slightly washed out or less contrasty especially when you put it side by side with the steel models. Tudor Black Bay 58 is a watch with vintage looks, original design from 1958 and then the size that is rarely seen in modern watches. It was already an interesting watch in the flesh of steel and didn't really have too much competition in the market especially when you consider the size and the vintage characters from aluminum bezel, domed crystal and even the gilt dial. And now with the release of 58 9 to 5, Tudor have offered yet another interesting character to the watch, the luxury looks and the flesh of precious metal. To align with the luxury characters, the watch is also offered in open case bag which is something that was never seen even in Rolex diving watches. While the case of silver comes with its own characters due to lustrous looks, it is potentially a softer metal and may not be as versatile as the steel model. And then the white text and top dial do take away the vintage characters but it is done indeed on purpose. And isn't it interesting 
that if you wanted to stick with the vintage vibe, the black dial model in steel hasn't really gone anywhere and is still an option to choose from.